decided to turn up the stereo. <laughs> there wasn't much room to dance, <laughs> but everyone was chiving anyway. <laughs> All of a sudden, Mick said, we should go down the pub to get some more beer. I said, can Capsie come? <laughs> he said, sure, as long as you come quietly. <laughs> when we were driving, this bird just flew into the windscreen. Gus said, what was that? I said, it looks like a sparrow, Gus. <laughs> It was still alive and flapping its wings, so Artie choked it and killed it. <laughs> to put it out of its misery. Then we decided to go for uh, a leak. <laughs> well, it was ages since I'd been for a pee. <laughs> and the coppers caught us and said they'd let us leave. If I rang a taxi, I was no deal, so I rang one. And the taxi took ages. I said, what's going on? We rang that cab ages ago. <laughs> I got back to the party, Mandy runs up to me. She said, we should get marrowed. She said, we can live on your salary. She said, you can buy me a nine carat ring. I said, we can't get married. Your mother hates my guts. She said, we'll run away. I said, no, we can't elope. <laughs> then Keeney came in, he said, fig, fig in hell. <laughs> How long's that broad been here? I said, which one? He said, the one with the reddish hair. I said, you're a suck, Eni. You're always trying to insult Anna. <laughs> then my mate said, you want a drink? I said, yeah, pass the water, Mal, on the bench. <laughs> then he left, I said, where'd that man go? <laughs> and soon someone stole me drink, I said, I wouldn't put a parsnip. <laughs> anyway, a parade of monks. <laughs>